How's it going, everybody? And welcome back. And we're going to be talking about Oho. And when can we maybe expect him? And um, so let's just jump right into this. We have Zapdos approaching very soon. Today is the 5th depending on when you live. Um, so we have two more days, and then Zapdos will be arriving on the 7th. Okay, so I was doing some talking with a, a guy at a raid, and he is convinced that Ho-Ho Ho -Ho is coming on the 15th because of the ending of Zapdos and the start of this movie in Japan. So I'm not too sure if it's gonna release in America or Europe at the same time but it's you know all this evidence is pointing to maybe Ho-Ho's -Ho coming on the 15th so yeah I'm not saying it is I'm just trying to put some speculation out there because we have gotten zero you know confirmation as to when but on the flip side what this movie's coming out so and it's about Oho. Um, I would assume that's when he would be coming out. So we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, <laughs> hopefully it is that. Um, and I heard a few of you were saying uh, this about uh, Moltres and um, Oho. Is that you don't really want to power up Moltres. Because Oho is going to have way more CP. And he's basically going to be an upgraded version of Moltres. And I absolutely agree. Um, Moltres is really nice and all that. It is our team bird. So it, I just, you know, had to go with it. Like I said, I was going to basically power up um, all of the legendaries. So, uh, yeah. But uh, completely understandable. So maybe, possibly, yeah, uh, you would maybe want to wait. Um, Moltres is extremely nice, uh, so I mean, nonetheless, having a maxed out one is just awesome at 3200, um, if you're above like a 95% or something like that. So, I still recommend you can max them out, and look at that 1860, that was pretty good, caught that on my first throw, that was, uh, pretty nice there. So we're gonna go to this next raid. Alright, so, with the Oho aside for a second, I wanna talk about this raid, so... You're going to prob probably see me just start attacking, attacking, and maybe even stay still. Because I got stung right on the side of the ear by a wasp. Right, uh, it was probably like right now. You you'll see. I'll stop dodging, and I'll probably stop attacking. It was right here. There we go. Got stung right there. See the golem just standing there? Yeah, so it came up and stung me right in the darn ear, man. Like, ah, seriously, I pulled out the stinger right away. Uh, it was it was stinging. It was hurting pretty bad. Uh, so I pulled out the stinger, and uh, it it was hurting for a minute, but then it it went away. It's extremely red, and with a red dot there, like like it pinched, like you you know when you pinch your uh, ha finger or something in the door, and there's like that little red mark. It's kind of like that right there with a the big old like red circle around it because of the venom or whatever it's in there, but. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to have to back out because I, I at this point I was just like in a little bit of pain and I wasn't really paying attention. And to start off with, of course, out of all the raids, I had to pick a not so good team. Um, I mean, they're good and all that. I just need to power them up. I was thinking I was going to do more dodging. Um, and uh, yeah, that happened there. I had to back out. And uh, at this point, I'm still like, oh, whatever. I'll just go whatever. Dragonite. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, that that was pretty silly. So, anyways, um, what do you guys think? Do you think uh, Oho is coming around uh, the 15th or on the 15th um, right after Zapdos? Um, I'm, I'm thinking it is. So, you don't, don't expect it, but that's just my personal belief because they seem to like to correlate with these uh, Pokemon and then do these, some sort of like event and, and or like, you know, to, to boost the hype up there. And uh, yeah, they've no, they've been known to do that. So anyways, uh, he's the Oho CP is going to be 4,200 maxed out. Okay. Uh, something like that. Unless they changed it, that's what the numbers are looking like. So... 
yeah, that's going to be a really crazy Pokemon to have. Um, it's going to be nice, and maxing him out is going to be great and all. But my only gripe is at this point, um, hmm, unfortunately, is the gyms. You know, back when there were level 10s, and uh, I don't really miss the duplicate, the be seeing the same Pokemon in there. But what I do miss about the old system is it was actually a bit more, it was tough. It was a little bit more tough, depending on what was in there, uh, if it was a level 10. And it actually took time. Uh, these new gyms are extremely quick and easy. Um, I think the only a solution to fix this is make it 10 instead of 6. So, and maybe bring back training possibly. Some sort of training. Because, I mean, a lot of people really like that. This drop, you know, destroy and then drop and have 6 spots in there. It's good. You know, it's nice. It's convenient. It's quick and it's go, <laughs> I suppose. But, you know... I kind of want the old prestige back. I'm not saying it's going to, you know, it's, probably, it's not going to come back, you know. But personally, at least, at least 10 Pokemon again. You know, with individual, you can't pick the duplicates, of course. Um, that would be great. I was a little bit shocked to see 6 because as soon as I seen that and heard about it, I was just thinking to myself, no, this is not going to be hard anymore. And the first time I did do one, I was just kind of, a bit disappointed on how simple it was so for instance you go in there and you you bring in your one of your max tyranitars or dragonites and you can barely you can basically almost sweep that whole thing if everything has full health then you might have to use like three pokemon depending on your skill level cp and all that but uh, after you've sweep the gym once after that after that one sweep it's it's all easy it's all downhill it's just gonna get t tore down extremely fast Basically, you could go in there with that same maxed out Tyranitar, Dragonite, or whatever you have there, and then go through that whole, the whole, all of the Pokemon, and, and that's it. For some people, that might, they might like that, they might think this is the best thing ever, but for I, a lot of other people, which I've personally talked to, it, that's not the case. Um, it's too easy, uh, you know, when a game becomes a little bit too simplified, it's not gonna it's not as interesting you know what i mean and you're gonna lose interest when something's harder you want to try to get better and you know do that at the at this current state anybody can beat these uh level six gyms you know and i suppose that's a good thing in a way but at the same time uh what are what are the high levels supposed to do just battle rates you know, and I'm, this is not a rant or nothing, guys. This is just a general thought and concern, what I want to tell you guys. So, and this is going to lead me to this. Uh, are raids destroying the game? Um, well, not really destroying the game. They're bringing more people to the game. Uh, Niantic's, you know, getting money. Everything's all good. But what I'm trying to get at here is a lot of people are not really trying to catch Pokemon anymore. Go for those rare Pokemon. And rural, rural, rural players are having issues not uh, being able to battle these raid bosses because there's nobody around. So, this leads me to this. When these raids become, you know, dried up and worn out, um, you know, granted that this is uh, a legendary, like, run right now. Basically, they're, they're going to put all these legendaries out and then it's going to stop for when until they do some more. But what my point is... Is it going to get dried up after the legendaries come out and these raids are out for so long? That's the question because the game seems like it's kind of changing. Not for the bad, but for the better. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on my next one. Thank you for watching.